Focus Workshop. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G the Hyper Sapien. And in this video, we're going to continue to explore the Orc miniature range. So now I've reviewed the bikes, trike, truck, and battle wagon, and all the buggies. So I thought I'd review the Orcs Mech Boy Workshop. So you've got this awesome image at the front of the box. So the back of the box has the Mech Boy Workshop. So you can see the workbench there. It has this engine hanging on here. That looks really dope. Got all these parts. Got this little toolbox and wrench. Rules included. You get orc barricades. But as always, let's bust this open and have a look. We get our build guide, we get our huge pieces of terrain and look at the build guide, the assembly guide. So read this first. Before assembling your miniatures, please read through the instructions in this booklet carefully. A pair of plastic cutters is required to remove the plastic components in this kit from the frame. We advise using a mold line scraping tool to clean up the parts. To assemble your models, you will need plastic glue. Games Workshop sells Citadel Fine Detail Cutters, Citadel Mold Line Remover, and Citadel Plastic Glue, but does not recommend these products for use by children under the age of 16 without adult supervision. And then you've got some symbols here, so special instructions, dry fit, choice of parts, variant assembly, repeat process, and stage complete and then you've got do it your tools here you don't need to use citadel but they are quite nice products especially the mold line remover but you can use a hobby knife to clean mold lines and i do rate these clippers or cutters but you might be able to find one cheaper suitable for whoever's watching this and then the same with glue so we just put this piece on top of here that means complete so as you can see just take your time you cut all these pieces out and you just attach them on the same with all these tools that are hanging apart as well goes up and under it's complete so now we have the workbench here it has some legs going up on it i love this piece that's awesome that's great so that's complete, it shows you different angles. And then once you've built that, you come up and under these tools, you can see that slides in here. And then that's the workbench all built. You have this piece that goes on here, this one that goes on the side. I love this huge sign or symbol here, it has these huge jaw pieces that come in. Might even keep that and use that on something else. So that goes on top of here. As you can see so that goes up and over there and then you can see what it looks like when it's complete now we have that crane part you get the arm part and then you get these two big hand pieces that's what it looks like when it's complete and you can see here again it's telling you to put it in here that's it complete now we have the engine quite simple two sides go together there's these little parts that you connect you put these two parts down here on each side and then this part the front part there and then it's saying to put it up and on here now you get these two big parts so it's like a drill and a saw they come up and on there. Once you put those two big tools on, that's complete. You get the toolbox and wrench there as well. You get a couple more images here. So many little bits, it looks amazing. And look at all these tools you have to paint. All these tools and accessories, so much going on. 
you see, you see the other side here. Really busy again with all these gauges. It looks like bits for trucks and bikes and stuff. So some steering wheels and all these gauges and gadgets. So we have a quick look at the rules. So a mech boy workshop is a single model. Abilities, orc structure, mechs, grab and claw, infantry, custom job, orc vehicle, more speed, more rivets, more DACA. A unit can only receive a custom job once per turn. Faction keywords, orc, clan, keywords, mech boy, workshop. So that's the build guide. Now well, let's take a look at some of these sprues. Look how nice and detailed this is. You've got your engine. You've got some tools. How nice and detailed is this sign here. There's the claw. There's that jaw piece. I might have another idea for. I'll see. That nice big drill there. There's a huge wrench. There's the other tool there. Got this huge arm that obviously these claw parts attach to to make that crane part. And these next few sprues are quite heavy. We've got the workbench. Look at some of the size of these tools. It looks like it would take two people to use it. I guess when you're an orc, you don't need two people, eh? All these bolts and cogs. You've got your box of tools. If they didn't have enough already, you get your tools that hang off the side of the building. You've got your welding mask. Gasoline, looks like an oil can. Love it. And you've got the parts where your engine attached to you, these chains and the hook. How detailed is all that stuff? Love it. Broken bits or new bits. Who knows? So that's the Mac Boy Workshop, and then you get your barricades. So this is awesome. Love this. It's got some imperial stuff as well. Looks like an ammo crate. So this is some awesome terrain pieces. As you can see all the nuts, bolts, wheels. Looks like more tools, like a toolbox there. Get your, your barrel as well. Another piece of terrain here. It's absolutely mind blowing just all the detail. I love it. Get around. We've got another piece of terrain. Some broken ones and some light bulbs here. It's so much detail. How much time in this is going to take to paint. We've got the last sprue. <laughs> Amazing. All these pieces. all these parts so they all have a purpose but just together it's just made a junkyard piece of terrain so just to calm down for a second we'll look at this part with a little less going on so there's like a door or a side of like a truck and stuff and the last piece is this huge chunky part you can even see through the wheel there's other wheels and stuff under it Source. So much going on, but this seems like a pretty good kit. It's fairly pricey, I guess, but you're getting the Mech Boy Workshop, you're getting all these awesome pieces of terrain, and when you're playing, or even if you just set it up to display, you're going to want all these pieces of terrain around your boys, around your old Mech Boy workshop and just all these pieces of terrain just going to bring it to life to, if you're playing or if you've just got it displayed nicely 
How good is that, Lou? But yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got this and you like it, or if you've wanted to get it and maybe this might help you decide if you're this far in the video i'd appreciate it if you like it really helps the channel to grow and if you're new if you wouldn't mind subscribing and hitting the notification bell that would really help as well or possibly share this to someone you know that likes orcs or maybe someone that has been interested or speaking about getting this they don't know if they want it or not this might help them decide but yeah that was the mech boy workshop unboxing and a bit of a review i appreciate you watching as always this was g the hyper sapien and i'll catch you next time cheers